Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Hey, there's the house now. See it, Jason? Mm Mm-hmm. And there's no lights on. I guess Tom's sound asleep by now. It's still bad business, Jerry, to go snooping around late at night this way. From what you tell me of this man, Platt, I wouldn't be surprised at anything he might do if he caught us. But he's at work down at the railroad station. He won't come home until he gets through, and that's hours from now. Just the same. I'd hate to get caught. What do you think he'd do if he did catch us? That's hard to say. He might have a gun and, in his excitement, decide to use it. Oh, no. Well, you can't tell. Well, we'll hurry and see what we can find out and then get out. Well, what do you, just what do you expect to find? Well, I don't know, but I feel pretty sure those bonds are around someplace. Well, if they're in the barn, we're pretty likely to find them all right, but it isn't likely that this fellow plant would leave anything as valuable as those bonds out in the barn. Well, the sweater was out in the barn. Well, that's different, Jerry. I'm afraid that sweater wouldn't carry much weight in court. But that spike sweater, the one that disappeared. Well, that's what you think. You've got me convinced, too, but, well, there's no proof. Lots of folks own red sweaters, but that doesn't mean that they were connected with the train robbery. Well, I guess you're right, but then that's all the more reason we've got to find those bonds. Yeah, if we could find the bonds, then we could use the sweater to strengthen the case. And that would be enough proof to set Spike free, wouldn't it? I should think so. Of course, there'd have to be a new trial. I sure hope we find them so we can get Spike out of jail. Yeah, you're pretty much set on clearing up this case, Jerry. I believe you would have come out here alone tonight. Sure I would. Well, I think it's better that I came along, though. Well, let's talk softer now. We're getting pretty near. All right. Well, we'll go around the back there and walk up the driveway. You got your flashlight? Uh-huh. Well, now, don't turn it on until we're on the inside of the barn. Well, well I won't. Quiet now, Jerry. What? Hey, what the... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that cat scared me. I guess you scared him, too. Look at him run. It's a good thing Rags isn't with us. He'd wake up everybody in town if he started chasing that cat. Here we are now. I hope this door isn't locked. It isn't. I took special notice of it. It hasn't even got a lock on it. Mm. Yeah, so I see. Well, come on now. Now wait with that light. Wait, wait till I get this door closed. Should I light it now? Yeah, all right. There's Nellie over in her stall. Yeah, I see. Put the light over here, Jerry. I guess that's Mr. Platt's workbench. Mm, looks like he's a carpenter, among other things. He's got a nice bunch of tools there. Well, here's the trunk, the one the sweater was in. I sure don't like this, Jerry. What? Just looking through people's things. We'd have a hard time trying to explain to the police if we were caught. Well, let's hurry then. Here, you hold the light. I'll open the trunk. Okay. All this stuff is just old clothes. I'll just take them out and set them down on the ground here. Wait, Jerry. What is it? You see that bag down there in the corner? No, no. Over there by the overalls, that paper bag. Oh, here? <laughs> just a bag of mothballs. Oh. Well, I'll go through some of these pockets in these old coats. I sure hope we have some luck. I don't want to disappoint you, but I don't think we will. It's foolish to think a man would leave damaging evidence like those bonds around here where they could be found. He'd be more apt to hide them in the house somewhere, or maybe down at the station. Wait, what's this? Did you find something? There's a piece of paper in the inside pocket. Yeah, yeah here it is. What is it, Jason? No, oh, it's a false alarm. Nothing but an old bill from, for some automobile tires. Guess you were right. There's nothing in this trunk that looks like bonds. 
I just have this one more coat to go through. Wonder where else we could look. No, there's nothing there. Well, that's that, Jerry. Well, how about that big box over there in the corner? Well, we can have a look. It's just covered with an old piece of rug. Hmm. Just some old books and magazines. He, look at phonograph record. Well, this Platt fellow believes in saving things. Maybe the bonds are in one of the books. There's one chance in a million, but, well, let's look. Here, I'll put this flashlight here on the shelf so we'll have light to work with. Nothing in this one. No, this one either. Nothing here. Ah, it looks hopeless, Jerry. I guess I'll just have to think of another way to find those bonds. It might be that Platt destroyed them all. Maybe. Well, there's nothing here. Let's put those clothes back in the trunk and get out of here while the getting's good. Okay, but... Gee, I'm sure disappointed. Jerry. Yeah? Wait a minute. Look at that trunk. Well, well, what about it? Get me that stick over there in the workbench. I think I've discovered something. Here you are, Jason. What are you going to do with it? Now, let's measure this. Let's see. Up to here on the inside. What are you talking about, Jason? And up here on the outside. Oh. Yep, that's just what I thought. Jerry, this trunk has a false bottom. bottom, Jason? I've never been more sure of anything in my life, Jerry. Well, I don't see how you figured it out. Well, now, look, Jerry. There's two inches difference between the outside and the inside measurements of this trunk. If you look at it closely, you can see that the bottom should go down deeper on the inside. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. I'll bet anything Platt fixed that trunk up himself. A good carpenter could do a job like this. Well, how do you find out where to open the false bottom? I suppose there's some sort of a hidden panel someplace. It may be hard to find, but I'm not going to give up very easily. Well, you think maybe the bonds are in it? It wouldn't surprise me any. When a person goes to the trouble to make a thing like this, he might must have a use for it. Oh, I don't see how you ever noticed it. I guess it was just luck, Jerry. Wait. Did you find something? No. No, I thought I did for a second. I don't think this opened from the inside. There must be some way to open it from the outside here. You know, Jason, I've just got a feeling those missing bonds are in that false bottom. It wouldn't surprise me a bit. If we could only get them. With that evidence, it, it wouldn't be any time at all until Spike was out of jail. I sure hope Spike appreciates what we're doing. Don't worry. We're safe enough. Nobody knows we're out here. This thing is sure a puzzle, Jerry. I can't for the life of me see how it opens. Here, give me a hand. Let's lay this trunk down on its side. Maybe this trick bottom opens from the underneath. Mm. Uh, there, there we are. No, nope. no, nope, it's too smooth under here to have any opening. Well, whoever figured this out did a good job. Hey, look at Jason. Look at what? Well, see this band here? That's to reinforce the trunk, Jerry. That band goes all the way around, see? I know it, but look. There's nails or, or little tacks like that fasten it all the way around. And right here on this side, there's two wood screws. You're right. Good boy, Jerry. Get me a screwdriver over there in the workbench. Well, I'll see if there is one. You've got a great pair of eyes on you, Jerry. You've most likely discovered the opening to the false bottom just by noticing a little detail like this. Well, Jason, here's a screwdriver. Do you think it's big enough? Just a ticket, Jerry. Now hold this light while I... 
go and see about getting this band loose so we can have a look at what's under it. I got it. Hold yeah. it right a little closer, Jerry. Yeah. There, that's better. Are you getting it loose? Yep. Only be a minute now. Hey, listen, Jason. It's a car. And it's close, Jerry. Put out that light quick. Wait, I'll, I'll look through the crack in the door. Hurry, Jerry. Hey, it's Mr. Platt. And, and Tom's with him. They're coming up the driveway. There now. Get that screw back in tight. At least they won't know we've been on to the false bottom. Well, what do we do? What do we do, Jason? There's nothing we can do, Jerry. We're trapped. That door is the only way out. Now, just let me do the talking. Maybe I can talk our way out of this little scrape. Well, he, he might shoot us. We're taking a chance on that, Jerry. Who's in here? Who's in here, I say? Hello, Mr. Platt. I don't know that voice. Throw your gun over here by the door. I have no gun. Then walk over here. But keep your hands over your head. I'll find out if you're armed or not. Okay, yes, sir. Keep your hands up now. Remember, I got you covered. One funny move and this gun goes off. Yeah, good thing for you, you haven't got a gun. Light that lantern, Tom. Yes, sir. Huh. So. Jerry! Yeah, nice circus friend. The ones you've been telling me are such fine people. Thieves, burglars, that's what they are. Now, we can explain everything, Mr. Platt. I don't think there's any use of that. I can see by the way those clothes are thrown around that you've been going through that trunk. Well, I can explain that, too. Never mind. I don't want to hear your story. You can save it and tell it to the police. The, the police? Quiet, Jerry. Give me that lantern, Tom. You go in the house and telephone the police. Tell them to hurry right out here. Tell them I'm holding a couple of thieves in the barn. Run now. Hurry. Yes, sir. You'll learn to break into people's property and ransack trunks. You'll have a long time to think about this once you get in jail. Maybe you're being a little bit hasty, Mr. Platt. No, I don't think so. You might be sorry for this. Steve Platt is never sorry for anything he does. And keep your hands up. I won't stand for any funny business. We just came out here to... Never mind, Jerry. Mr. Platt doesn't want to hear our story. That's what it would be, all right, a story. No, I don't care to hear it. And I don't think the police will take much stock in it either when they get a look at that trunk laying there open. I got you dead to rights. And you'll do a nice long stretch, too. You can count on that. Well, what'll we do, Jason? We won't do anything right now, Jerry. But when we get down to the police station, I'll... Quit your talking. And stand still. I might get nervous and pull this trigger. I got the police, Mr. Platt. They'll be right out. They're coming right out now. Oh, 